Okay, Aaron, let me show you how to fix the issue you had with your image here. You, let's see here, you were on the Zoom site and this is the one that you were modeling. And as you see, as you scroll back and forth, the image stays at the exact same height and it stays centered in the middle of the frame as well. Whereas with yours, which is, uh, which is normal for click funnels, what it wants to do is it wants to size down that image as you uh, scroll across. But the problem is you lose your text off the bottom. And when we get down to, let's see here, 1,024 pixels wide, which is right about, let me see, about right here. You know, it's already jacked up and 1,024 is what you're going to see on an iPad. So let me show you how to fix this. It's actually quite simple. First thing you have to know is you have to know how tall is image because we want to maintain the height the entire time. So we have to determine how tall the image is. And I have determined that it is 580 pixels tall. So we're going to go into our custom CSS and in here, we're going to show you the custom CSS. But let me, uh, before we do that, let's actually just bounce out of here. My example. So this one here was built in ClickFunnels. And you see, as we come across, the image stays full height and it stays centered. I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to the text over here, but you can see it stays within frame as well. So you'd have to stylize that to make sure um, that it didn't run out of the box. So then let's um, go back in here. And what you got to do is it's pretty simple. Like I said, you just come in, you set the height to 580 pixels. You set the background size to cover, so that is going to cover the entire frame, um, um, right side to left side, and you need to make that important, or otherwise it gets overridden. And then you just want to say that you want it in the center. So let's just take out, um, let's say, let's take out the cover, and let's save it, and then preview that page and see what happens when we do that. And we'll grab a hold of it. And you see as we scroll across here, it didn't do it at first. And and, and it's running slow because it's uh, recording. But you're going to see see how it uh, keeps uh, changing in size. Even though it keeps him full height in the frame and it keeps him centered, of course, we're changing the height of the image instead. So again, those are the three elements that you need. We'll go back into the CSS just so you can see again.